Hello there, everybody. So I've acquired a new little baby bird that uh, needs some assistance that's got bum legs. My little baby girl with a picture legs today. She was another one that was a single chick in the nest and a new time mom. And uh, when there's not other babies or unhatched eggs in the nest and there's a single chick, um, the mom, you know, sits on them to incubate them and keeps them warm. And, you know, in the bird breeding world, it's called, you know, the hen sits too tight. And that's just, you know, this baby was, you know, the size of a jelly bean when it hatched. And, you know, the mom sits on them to incubate them. And this little chick took the full brunt of her weight on its body. Um, it was me or it was going to get cold, so... I'm its best chance. Hi, baby petal. This leg's stiff. This is the bad one. It even seems like it goes up into the hip. But I've given her a couple days, and some of the swelling and inflammation's gone down. And when I put her on her back, I can manipulate the leg in the proper position. Um, and if I can get her taped up properly, um, we should be able to get her fixed enough. She should, you know, hopefully be able to walk and perch. And uh, yesterday I was concerned because she wasn't holding up her head, but today she's much stronger and holding up her head. And part of that problem, she just got weak and she couldn't hold up her head. I don't know if her neck was sore. See, there she goes. Are you flappy flapping? But she couldn't hold up her head for mom to feed her properly, so she had the leg issues on top of her. She just couldn't be fed by mom anymore. Don't poop on me. Anyway, so I got some uh, some vet wraps and tapes and don't mind my dirty fingernails. Been gardening, chickening, birding, all kinds of stuff. So I've got a little egg carton here. We're going to see if we can't lay her on her back because uh, when they're on their back, it's easier to manipulate the leg in the proper positions. And I'm going to see if I can't get her braced up a little bit. I'm not going to go 100% today pulling the legs in where they need to be. We're just, uh, we're going to start in small increments. I don't want to cause her too much pain or stress, but on the same hand, she's right on the cusp of she's young enough, her bones are still soft, and if you catch them early enough, you can, this problem can be fixed in three or four days of splinting. It may take a little longer with her, she's a little more drastic, but you can say she can't walk, her legs are not up under her like they should be. Yes. I know we're gonna fix you, Baba. Anyway, let's see what we can do for her. So I got an egg carton because I'm one person here today and I'm hoping, let's see, that this will cradle her on her back. You okay? No, it's okay, don't panic. <laughs> oh, it's scary, I know. Hold still. It's scary, I know. I'm not able to do this one handed, one person like I thought. Alright, you okay, you okay. It's okay, baby. Yeah, the leg looks much better today. You can see the redness and swelling in this one as opposed to this one. It's uh, red inflamed and maybe even out of socket. Oh, hold on. I, just, I might have to. You're okay. You're just hungry. Yeah, you know, I wanted to do it while she had an empty crop. I didn't accidentally squeeze her and let's see if we can get one leg on while you're right side up. How about that? I may need two hands for this. Another set of hands. I can't even get my tape on stuff. You gotta fix up, old girl. I know you don't like to be on your back. Who would? Right, let's ditch this for now. I know this isn't fun, girl. This is your chance, though, at life, so. I get you fixed up. Let's 
self-adhesive. I'm just pressing it into place. Probably should put a little more. More slack. This is going to be too long, so let's take some of it off. And let's get this. I need to go the other way so I can press it, don't we? Okay. I'm going to have to flip you on your back again, Mama. really bad. Her legs really twisted. Just want to get it. Once in, oh, there it is. There's, that's the spot. That's the spot. And I got the bandage on the wrong side. Shit. I won't be able to flip it. Alright, let's hold your foot. Don't, don't, don't twist. Don't twist. Don't twist. Alright, well we got it once. We'll get it again. Mama. Yeah, actually, there it is. There it is. That's the position. Okay.
I'm not going to be happy with it for a while, but she'll calm down. And this one's sliding. I'm going to have to move that one up because it should be over the second joint. I don't know if I can do it without digging it up. There we go. We got it. We got it. It's just not tight enough. Sorry for the grunting and moaning. This is very stressful. We want to help, not hurt. No. Okay. You're going to have to just fight it for a while. Yeah, we'll feed you here in a minute and calm down. Yeah, we'll let you rest. Let's get you back in your cup. Let's get you back in your dish. back in action. She's calmed down. Um, she seems to have adjusted now that her legs are going to be strapped together for a few days. And uh, anyway, she's hungry. It's late, about 45 minutes past time, huh, Mama? Let's get you out and see how you're looking and see if you want to eat.
Okay, tiptoe, baby, asleep. 